Rudy, how did you guys just kind of dig deep there at the end to pull this one out? I just got stopped. I think we, early in the fourth, we were struggling to close possession. Uh, we were falling not too much, and uh, we allowed him to get up. I think 10 points at some point, and uh, in the last three minutes, uh, yeah, we got stops after stops, and then offensively we were able to execute uh, while we were trying to run, and uh, Mikir and made some, made, some, made some big plays, and uh, we got back in the game. Did the interaction with Brown kind of get you going even more, or what did you kind of see through that little No, sequence? I think it's part of the game. You know, uh, he made a great play, and uh, you know, there's always the adrenaline, you know, he kind of stepped towards my space and and you know, just, nothing really happened, but it's, it's, it's part of the game, you know, and uh, obviously when it's three minutes left, uh, I love those moments, you know, it's, it's, it's winning time and uh, that's why I love this game, you know, I, I live for those moments. Did it feel good right at the end there to get him at the rim and then knock down those free throws? It felt good to win. You know, it felt good to win. Uh, I have nothing against Brown. Uh, I actually think he's a, he's a really good player. He's a good kid. Uh, but it's, it's a big win for us. And the way we overcame adversity tonight as a group, you know, it's, it's the type of win that uh, I think makes you grow as a team. For you personally, is there a satisfaction to closing a game out defensively like that? I love that. I love those moments, you know, and uh, and obviously playing against uh, a player like Jokic, that's you know that was the MVP of this uh, of the league last year, uh, one of the all-time best players. I, I look forward to those to those games and you know and uh, to those challenges. Rudy, that, that matchup was was all yours. Uh, that the Jokic matchup last year was kind of you and and Carl. Um, obviously, in your Utah time, you had a one on one in that situation. What, what was what's different for you um, in, in this alignment when you're the primary on, on Yoko? I mean, I think just make him work. You know, uh, it's, uh, you know he's going to make some tough shots. You know, he's going to try to get his teammates involved. And uh, yeah, he's just got to <laughs> try to make his life difficult. You know, make him work on both ends. And, uh, and uh, I thought we did a pretty good job tonight. Try to you know uh, make his life a little more difficult. What were you look, looking for him to do on that last possession? So I was ready to foul because we're up three. So I was really like waiting, wait, waiting for him to try to maybe drive. Uh, and if there was less than five seconds, I was going to foul him. Um, but I saw that he was waiting for me to foul, to try to get the M one three. So. I kind of acted like I was going to foul, but I didn't. And then, then just try to take away his space, you know, try to make sure that he don't get a clean uh, three. Because he hit, that, he hit a three against the Warriors in the, around the same spot. So I really wanted to take that away and, uh, and yeah, make him, don't let him get any airspace. Rudy, what did you see from Nikhil down the stretch or just all the plays that he was making for you? It was huge. You know, coach, coach ran a few ATO plays for him. and. Uh, Delivered, you know, he made. Uh, I mean, he made the three of the flare, uh, knocked down the, f the two free throws before that, and defensively, he was, he was himself. I mean, uh, he was clean, he was solid, um, and uh, all five guys defensively down the stretch, I thought were uh, incredible. Coach said you guys are uh, at your best when you can close the game with with defense. Uh, in, in what ways do you feel that? That's who we are. You know, and you you at your best when you who you are, you know, and then uh, offensively we don't we don't need to overthink, we just need to execute, keep the game simple, you know, be clean with our passing and uh, and keep the ball moving. You know, that offensively the recipe is that. Uh, but defensively when we when we solid, when we don't foul too much, when we close possessions on the rebounds and when I'm doing my job, um, we're a pretty good defensive team. Can a win like this really kind of just get you guys galvanized a little bit and just you know, getting in the mud the way you had to to get this one? For sure, for sure. I mean, it's um, we need those wins to get confidence in who we are, you know, especially with the new group. I think we, yeah, being able to overcome adversity is always a great feeling, you know, and it's, we're still going to learn from the, the mistakes that we did today uh, in those stretches, but at the same time, 
we we know that regardless of what happened during the game, we yeah, we're gonna keep playing. We're never gonna give up, you know. And that's the that's the championship mindset, you know, that we need to have. All the best teams in this league, they're not always perfect, you know, but they they don't doubt. They never doubt, you know. They they know how to regroup, know how to refocus, and uh, and be who they are when it matters the most.